Hello my YouTube friend, this is Snow Mechanic here and today I'm working on my 1998 Dodge Grand Caravan. And what's going on with the van today is that the window washer fluid is not coming out. I already diagnosed what it is but I want to show you how to diagnose it for you won't be changing parts. This car has two uh, window washer fluid pump, one for the rear and one for the front. And you don't want to change the wrong one and then go back in there to replace the correct one. So I'm going to show you a few of the things that I did. Basic thing, one of the, one of the main things you want to check is that you have window washer fluid. A lot of times I have gone to go to people's cars and they, have, they don't have no window washer fluid. So you want to check that. The next thing you want to check is you want to check the hose. I'm going to give you a shortcut on this car, on this 1998 Dodge Grand Caravan, which one to disconnect to rule out other things. Then, hopefully we can find out which other pump is it. You need a second person for this, but I'm going to put the, the camera next to the pumps just to see if we can figure out which pump is it. So let's get on it and hopefully I can save you some money by doing this. The pump haven't come in, but I'll show you how to diagnose it. As I mentioned before, make sure you have window washer fluid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the car in the arm position and let's see if any fluid comes out. Now we're going to check these two, making sure they're working. And you saw no fluid coming out. The next thing I will do is check to see their clock. But I'm going to show you an easy way on this van that you can skip this step. So we want to rule out this area out of here. We want to make sure that it's not clogged inside. So because if it is clogged in there, we have a bigger job to do. We have to remove this whole cow, these wiper blades, and fix it. But to rule out all that, what we're going to do is, if you notice right here, this, this hose here, we have... Our washer fluid jug right here and right next to it is these holes these holes here is going to water the pump remember this car has two washer fluid pump one for the rear and one for the back so this one right here is the one that's connected to the front and all we have to do is take this hose and disconnect it take your time and you disconnect it now that it's disconnected, what you want to do is go up in the car, put the car in the arm position, and turn on the windshield washer fluid. So let's do that now. So fluid, once I do that, fluid should be coming out through this one here. If it's not coming out through here, that means we have another problem. So it should be coming out from here. As you notice, no fluid came out of here. So we can rule out all that in the top. There's no clog up there. It's good up there. So something is going on down here. And down here we have the pumps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, um, the passenger side front wheel. And then I'm going to show you what to do in there. So we are in the passenger side and I remove the wheel you probably don't have to remove this all you have to do is just remove this three fill of screws out of here take this um splash shield move it to the side and you can see right inside you can see the pump and you can see the wiring and everything you need to see in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this three fill of screws and then I'm gonna show you push this back I'm gonna show you in there and then I'm going to remove this splash shield. So what we're going to need is 
It's a filler screwdriver and remove these three. And I already removed this one a little bit. And this one. And all you have to do is just take your filler and just remove all three of them. Now that you remove all three of them, you can actually take the splashy, you're gonna just and bring it out. Sometimes it takes a little while. And you can see right inside. Let me just get you a little closer and you're gonna see how those pumps are all messed up. As you can see, like I said, you don't have to remove this splash shield, but I'm gonna remove it just to make the video much easier for you guys to see. As you can see, we have two pumps. So I need to find out which one is the rear and which one is for the front. As you can see, they have seen better days. Look at them. So all I have to do is just remove one of them and whichever, if the real one, the, um, the washer fluid is not coming out, that means that I disconnected the real one. So what I'm going to do is remove this one out of here. Let me take out this flash shield first just to make it a little bit easier. Before I disconnect one of these pumps, I want to make sure that the rear fluid is coming out. So let's check that out first before we start disconnecting these things. As you saw, the rear is working so one of these right here has to be the rear so i'm taking my chances and i'm gonna disconnect the first one right here all we have to do is you see this black piece here all we have to do is just push it back you can probably push it back with a screwdriver once you push it back what you want to do is push it down and there it goes is disconnected so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see if the rear is working if the rear is not working that means that we disconnected the rear and this one right here is the front this is the one we have to replace So the one we disconnected is the rear. So now you know which one is the front and which one is the rear. This one is the front and this one is the rear. Our bad one is the one in the front right here. You also have to check your electrical wires to, to make sure they are all connected. But in this situation, we already know that it's the pump and it's the front pump that is right here. So we're going to do is just connect this right here. And then on my next video, when the pump comes in, I'll show you how to replace it. So this is how you diagnose which pump is not functioning correctly on your 1998 Dodge Grand Caravan. So once again, this is Now Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me on Now Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. That is Now Mechanic 101 at Yahoo.com. And remember, if Now Mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.